Our severe weather team coverage continues with Fox 23's Rick Marinon, who was the first reporter with live updates from the Owasso neighborhood hit by the tornado. Today, he was the only reporter to join the insurance commissioner and emergency management for a look at that damage. Rick. Yeah, Clay, 24 hours later, and it still looks pretty much the same out here, and the insurance commissioner wants to make sure that folks who offer their services to clean this stuff up, well, they're the legit thing and not frauds. The wind was kinder to northeastern Owasso residents Friday. The only wood flying through the air were chips from chainsaws. Residents and their relatives began to clean up. Been a, a firefighter for 28 years, and... You don't see this very often, all this damage and such. James Fetty is helping his brother get as close as he can to back to normal, despite his garage door now being in his driveway. You can always repair things, you just can't replace lives. Big Insurance Commissioner John Doak and Rogers County Emergency Managers came out to see the damage for themselves. Doak says it's after incidents like this, the severe weather threat may be gone, but the threat of fraud goes up. The people get taken advantage of at times like this, just in minor issues, whether it's outbuildings, tarping roofs, cutting trees down. While roofers put out their advertising signs, Doak put his signs next to theirs to show that the state is watching. Do business local. There's a lot of folks that come in from out of state from time to time or that move from state to state with catastrophes. But again, your reputable insurance companies and your reputable contractors will have a significant presence right here in Tulsa, in Owasso. Rogers County Emergency Management Director Scotty Stokes says it's this Owasso neighborhood who has hit the worst in the county. The biggest blessing to this whole storm is that there are zero injuries reported. So everybody heeded the warnings, got inside, took cover appropriately. We do need to note that Rogers County will be picking up debris out here, but there's a bit of a dilemma. They'll take the natural stuff like sticks and brush and leaves, but they won't take this stuff, which is all the stuff that came off of the roof of the homes. For that, these residents are on their own. Reporting live in Owasso, covering news that matters. I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News. Severe storms also left a